After airing on Adult Swim last week, Rick and Morty Season 7 is already well underway, and the next significant episode of the season is about to air. A more episodic journey that reintroduced viewers to Rick and his circle of buddies who we haven't seen in action in a while was how Rick and Morty Season 7 began its newest season, not with an update on what could be happening with Rick Prime. The second episode continues along same line by reintroducing viewers to Rick and Jerry's continuous interaction. However, this time is quite different since Rick and Jerry start the show with a body exchange that ends up taking a more darker turn than any previous body swap stories that fans may have watched in the past, whether they were science fiction, comedies, or something else entirely. It was a crazy beginning to what is a really illuminating examination of the relationship between Rick and Jerry. The events of the Jerick Trap, the second episode of season 7 of Rick and Morty, are detailed here. In the opening moments of the show, Jerry asks Rick for assistance with a rake situation. Rick declines to assist because he feels it is beneath him. He believes Gene has stolen his rake. Rick is so offended by the idea that Jerry might use Rick's brain more effectively after accusing him of squandering such a clever one that he exchanges their thoughts in order to demonstrate what his body is truly capable of. However, as soon as Rick awakens in Jerry's body, the horror of it consumes him, and he ends his own life. Rick's various body devices cause Jerry who is within Rick, harm, and he eventually passes away. Morty is abducted by a mafia crew after the opening credits because he was selling crystals on their property. Because Morty hangs out with Rick and has a clean path to do anything he wants given Rick's reputation, the employer chooses to fire him. When the camera returns to Rick and Jerry, it becomes clear that the garage put them back together by mixing together pieces of their minds. They each have their thoughts housed within their own bodies. When the mafia leader contacts Rick, Rick and Jerry quarrel over how to handle the situation. Now that they are in both of their bodies, the two of them must learn to cooperate while still debating who is half Jerry. The Mafia leader switches from attempting to kiss Rick's butt to attempting to knock him down while Rick and Jerry continue to dispute. When a shooting incident starts, Morty is in danger. The two agree to cooperate and murder every alien there after realizing they share a love for Morty. As neither Rick nor Jerry remains after the expedition, Rick and Jerry begin to become closer. The two become increasingly closer as the best aspects of their characters begin to come together. The two decide to run out on their own instead of mending their minds as they had previously promised after realizing that they are happier this way without the actual Rick and Jerry holding them back. The Mafia then begins to move when it is revealed that Rick and Jerry are a new criminal team that has been stealing crystals from goons. The Mafia leader kidnaps them when Morty, Beth, and Summer attempt to locate them at one of their hit locations and contacts Rick and Jerry for a ransom. Since it was love for their family that caused everything to happen between them in the first place, Rick and Jerry resolve to return and provide a hand. It quickly becomes clear that Jerry and Rick had another plan to combine their best qualities into one mutant monster they called Jericky. Jericky not only possesses Rick's body armor and combat prowess, but also psychic abilities. Chuxley and the other Mafia members are killed, and Jericky continues to cause problems for the rest of the family. As he prepares to go, Jericky reveals that their two prior selves were called Burger and Fries. Jericky is ready to go after claiming that Rick and Jerry had passed away unchanged. Before he goes, Gene comes clean and admits that he stole Jerry's rake so that they may continue to be involved in one another's life. When it doesn't alter Jericky's opinion and they decide to leave, Jericky steps on a rake just as Rick's mind emerges. Rick claims that a memory Rick was hidden inside Jerry's mind since he knew they would need to return back to it at the conclusion of everything. Despite how close they were while their thoughts were one, Rick and Jerry return to arguing with one another after learning nothing from their joint trip. It is obvious that nothing has changed. The memory Rick who had been imprisoned inside Jerry's head and had been battling a memory gene inside Jerry the entire time is seen in the post credit sequence. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.